the molecules swell up and they basically kind of get stuck there as that pigment molecule develops. The matrix color eraser, the directions say to apply it with water for up to 30 minutes. So the reason I used three different colors in the swatches is because in my experience, removing fashion colors from hair, your results vary depending on which color is in the hair. They're gonna depend on what's going on with your hair and what's going on with the color, even the same colors between different brands, you're gonna have varied results. It's definitely good to have multiple strategies because sometimes you have to go back a second time or a third time. And we usually start with, with kind of the, the least invasive, the, the thing that's gonna be easiest on the hair to the most aggressive, if necessary. When I say most aggressive, I mean the most aggressive thing that I'm willing to try while still keeping your hair in good condition. I don't want to turn anyone's head into a dumpster fire. There are other types of color removers. There are other brands that are similar. Uh, these are just what I had on hand. When we're talking about actual color removers, you can break them up into two classes. There's the ones like the Matrix Color Eraser. Uh, I know Joico makes one. I know that um, Pulp Riot makes one. They're similar to Lightener, but they're a little bit different. But then there's also oxidative color removers. Like Pravana has an, a three-part system, which I heard is being discontinued. It's a product called Color Oops. Those are two-part systems that you mix together. They smell sulfuric, they kind of smell like rotten eggs. Those are meant to remove oxidative colors, which means demi-permanent or permanent colors, colors that you mix with a developer. When oxidative colors are mixed with developer, the pigment molecules develop. They go onto the surface of your hair, they penetrate into your hair, the molecules swell up and they basically kind of get stuck there as that pigment molecule develops. The oxidative color removers, like the color Oops, are intended to try to attempt to make that molecule shrink back down so it can fall out of your hair. It's kind of like the real simplified version of it. Fashion colors, the colors we use to, to create colors like this, are not oxidative colors. They're usually called uh, semi-permanent colors, uh, sometimes called direct dyes. They're not mixed with a the developer. They're just a, they're basically f for concentrated food coloring that's sticks to your hair way better than food coloring would. Since that pigment molecule sticks to your hair through a different action, it doesn't swell up and stick there, products like the Color Oops are not going to work on these. They can't make that molecule shrink back down and fall out. If you've ever used that on semi-permanent hair color and, and it worked, you got lucky, and I'm glad you got lucky. But if you've ever used it and it hasn't worked, that's why, because it's actually not for these types of colors. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.